What's up my gorgeous geeks, Cashin here with a brand new video and today we'll be talking about Path of Fire content. With today's video, we're going to be looking into new game mechanics with mounts. Let's get started. The greatest thing about the implementation of mounts in Guild Wars 2 is it's not just a speed buff. Just as ArenaNet pitched it, mounts are a whole new way to explore the world. Just like gliders, mounts will be upgraded through the mastery system. Unfortunately, mount upgrades are all POF masteries will focus on. It would have been nice to have seen more than just mount upgrades. The most impressive aspect of Guild Wars 2 mounts from any other game comes from how unique all the mounts are from each other. Raptors are able to cross great distances in a single leap making them ideal for moving around the desert, allowing them to reach areas with large gaps you wouldn't be able to reach before. In Omnoon, this mount is clearly the most favorite used mount. The Raptor's masteries come in four different benefits. Ravenous Strike requires one mastery point. This greatly increases the damage of the Raptor's combat ability, Tailspin. Roundup spends two mastery points, allowing Tailspin to pull foes in to your location. Canyon Jump requires three mastery points, giving the Raptor a farther distance with its leap. Finally, Ravenous Discipline spends 4 mastery points. This gives Ravenous Strike to all mount engagement skills. By far, the most exciting change comes from how cheap mastery points are compared to hot masteries. Though this was only the first batch, so far it's much better in terms of cost. The skimmer is the most graceful mount out of the four available mounts. It allows you to hover above water and ground. I didn't get the chance to play this mount, but it definitely looks like a lot of fun. My speculation for this mount will be its proficiency to speedy map completion, with the skimmer getting through water-based POIs or getting from one underwater skill points to the next will be quick and easy. By far the most charming and jumpy mount that we have would be the Springer. This mount has a very amazing vertical leap that allows you to reach areas that are so high that you couldn't even reach before without having to turn it into your own personal jumping puzzle. I am worried about having this mount particularly in World vs. World as it has been confirmed that mounts will be allowed on the battlefield. This mount with the distance that it has been advertised with will most likely clear a regular fortress wall. This could be quite interesting where the defenders can get upgrades to the walls like spikes or nets on top of their walls in order to catch mounted springers making them easier trap targets to kill. Either that or the invading side will just hop on their springers and leap over the walls spanking everyone inside. To what I've seen, the Jackal is the clear fan favorite, also mine as well. Jackals are elusive, magical creatures formed of shifting sand and given shape by magical runes. Jackals have an incredible ability to teleport short distances, able to dash through sand portals. This is going to be so much fun. The Jinn of the Desolation create and tame them, and it's up to you to prove your worth as a trainer through the mastery system in order to get one of these awesome friends. This is absolutely cool. Best part of the entire thing for me. I cannot wait to get my first Jackal. What I'm worried about though is that we've had similar claims about stuff like this before where it sounds super cool and very fun. Now this came in hot where it was super cool mastery advertisement but it didn't really end up the way that it was supposed to in terms of the language concept with the Itzel. My hope is that ArenaNet learned from their mistakes with hot and have found a way to make all mount acquisitions just as cool as how you get the raptor mounts. That's going to be it for this video. The key phrase of this video today will be new way to explore. As long as you add that phrase into your comment down below, then I will know that you made it to the very end of this video. Also, just a reminder, we are on week two of my Path of Fire giveaway. If you're interested in winning a free copy of the expansion, check the description down below. Until next time, guys, stay excellent to each other.